As most people are aware, uh, and some naturally may not be, over the last few years, you know, we kind of rolled from a pandemic environment uh, into what led to a chip shortage environment. And most people that we interact with say they've heard of the fact that, that there was a chip shortage of semiconductor chips. As we started to navigate through this and we started to run out of vehicles, we quickly learned it wasn't just semiconductors. It was wiring harnesses, parts. It was all kinds of things that comprised of the different components that ultimately make up vehicles. And what it led to was an extreme shortage of vehicles in the entire United States. Naturally, this drove the price of vehicles up. It drove the price of used vehicles up. And one of the questions that I get often from people even our own manufacturer is, how have you guys grown 20% plus every single year? And I'll tell you the answer is, we made a decision at our dealership and in our company that we weren't going to take advantage of the market in a way that a lot of our competition was doing. A lot of our competitors out there were putting large market adjustments on vehicles for two and five and eight and 10 and 15,000 over the manufacturer's suggested price. Now, their business argument was, if I'm going to get less vehicles, I have to make more on them. But we made a choice as a business that we wanted to make sure the community knew that we were gonna take care of them even when things got difficult. So we all agreed that we weren't going to sell vehicles for over MSRP at Mack Hike Chevrolet. And in not selling vehicles for over MSRP at our dealership, the factories decided several months into the inventory shortage that they would start tracking the turn rates and the velocity of those turn rates to determine who would get the next amount of inventory that came in. And because our velocity and our sales rate exceeded everyone else so much, we started getting the lion's share of inventory from the factory for vehicles. And what seemed like to our competitors, maybe a not so smart move to not take advantage of the market at the time, turned into a pretty smart move because we ended up growing our allocation far in excess of anyone that we compete with. You probably already notice if you're a consumer in the market that as you pass dealers now, for the most part, they're not all empty anymore. Uh, at, at the very low, we got down to less than 10 vehicles on our lot, 10. And we were still selling over 400 new cars a month with less than 10 on the lot. People were literally grabbing them off trucks and taking them and leaving with them. That's how we sold cars then. But now you look around and you see vehicles on lots. And what does that mean to you as a consumer? Well, the first thing I would tell you, depending upon the model that you're looking for, is it means that discounts are back. We have discounts on new Silverados of up to $9,000 in some cases. What we want to say to all of our neighbors and our community and our Chevrolet family is remember the dealer that didn't overcharge you when they could have. Remember the dealer that took care of you when they didn't have to. Remember the dealer that said we were gonna think long and always put the customer first. And in thinking about that dealer, I would say this, before you consider buying a vehicle anywhere else, your first thought needs to be Mack Hike and it needs to be Mack Hike Chevrolet. Get down to I-10 and Kirkwood or get on MackHikeChevy.com and come see us.